the longest running quiz show in the area. Category. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your category's host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories. Today we're bringing you a contest between two, well, like well-seasoned team and one of the newcomers to the Categories League. We are bringing you Shawnee Mission South versus Blue Valley Southwest. Let's go ahead and meet our contestants first from Shawnee Mission South. I'm Paul, and if I were a vegetable, I would be cauliflower. I'm Nikki, I'd be an aubergine. I'm Connor, and I would be a cucumber. I'm James, and I would be a potato. I'm Josh, and I would be a radish. Fantastic, thank you. And from Blue Valley Southwest? Uh, I'm Pavan, and I'm, <laughs> I'm a junior. <laughs> I'm Ross, and I am also a junior. I'm Emily, I'm a junior. I'm Kyle, and I'm a freshman. Fantastic. And here on Categories in the first round, we will take turns answering questions. If a team does respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal. We did a coin toss before we started taping, and it was won by Sean Mission South. So science, the first category for you is science, specifically species. When Spallanzani, excuse me, Spallanzani, Spallanzani blinded them, they still flew. When he plugged their ears, they were disoriented. What creatures are we talking about? Nikki? Bats. Bats is correct. Timberwolves, you have a current events category. Julian Assange, the publisher of website WikiLeaks, is from what country? Kyle? Australia. Australia is correct. Raiders, math is your category. If the coefficients are all rational numbers, then the quadratic equation, and there's a multiple choice here, always, sometimes, or never has one rational solution and one irrational solution. Paul? Never. Never is correct. Southwest, economics is your category. According to Adam Smith, the force of greed is counterbalanced in the economy by, multiple choice here, social conscience, competition, church dogma, or regressive taxation. Ross? Competition. Competition is correct. Raiders, artists is the category. What prolific artist painted the old guitarist? Timberwolves, chance to steal this artist category. What prolific artist painted the old guitarist? Emily? Picasso. Picasso is correct. Southwest, you get the next category, history. What sociological practice frequently evolved from the death of men during hunting or war? Raiders, chance to steal this history question. What sociological practice frequently evolved from the death of men during hunting or war? James? Uh, burning uh, the body. Cannot accept that. We're looking for polygamy. Looking for polygamy. South, you do get the next category, sports football. It may be hard to believe that a rough and tough NFL team displays a flower on their helmet, but what team just does just that? Time on that. Timberwolves, sports football is the category. Your chance to steal. It may be hard to believe that a rough and tumble NFL team displays a flower on their helmet. But what team does just that? Pavan? The Washington Redskins? It is not the Redskins. It's the New Orleans Saints. New Orleans oh. Saints. Oh, yeah, yeah. Southwest, you do get the next category, musical instruments. Sherlock Holmes bought one for 55 shillings. Jack Benny's cost him $25,000. Who was said to have made these violins? Ross? Vivaldi. It is not Vivaldi. South, you have a chance to steal this musical instruments category. Sherlock Holmes bought one for 55 shillings. Jack Benny's cost him $25,000. Nikki? Stradivarius. Stradivarius is correct. Yeah, boy. South, you get the next category, history, specifically the Pilgrims. When the pilgrims landed in what is now Massachusetts, they were greeted by an Indian named Squanto. 
What language did he speak? James, you got it in. English. He did speak English. Timberwolves, next category for you is world geography. The part of the Nile River that flows from Lake Victoria to Khartoum is called the White Nile. What do we call the part that rises in the mountains of Ethiopia and joins the White Nile at Khartoum? Kyle? Uh, the Red Nile. It is not the Red Nile. South. Paul? The Blue Nile. The Blue Nile is correct. Raiders, you get the next category, mythology. One Greek figure helped an old woman over a river and lost a sandal in the process. Uh, Jason. James, it is Jason. That is correct. Please make sure I call on you before you respond, though. Timberwolves, you get the next category, general knowledge. If you suffer pain without expressing fear, you are biting the bullet. If you suffer defeat or die, what are you biting? Ross? The dust. Biting the dust. That is correct. <laughs> Some of those are pretty funny. I agree. Shiny Mesa South, next category for you, vocabulary. The word run, R-U-N, has many meanings. What does it mean in the context when referring to a bank? Nikki? A lot of people are withdrawing money all at once. That is, yep. People are making demands or withdrawals of their money all at once. Southwest. Architecture is your category. What is the name for a projecting platform enclosed by a parapet frequently in the form of a railing and usually supported on brackets? Ross? A deck? It is not a deck. Shimerson South, architecture is the category, your chance to steal. What's the name for a projecting platform enclosed by a parapet frequently used in the form of a railing and usually supported on brackets? James. A balcony. It is a balcony. Raiders, you get the next category, science, additives. What is the function of all these food additives? Sodium propionate, calcium propionate, benzoic acid, and scorbic acid. Paul. They serve as vitamins. And Not accept that. Timberwolves, chance to steal the science additives question. What is the function of all these food additives? Sodium proponate, calcium proponate, benzoic acid, scorbic acid. Ross. They're preservatives. They are preservatives. So, T-Wolves, you have the next category, U.S. government. In a bill entitled HR 625, what do the initials HR stand for? Ross? House Resolution. Cannot accept House Resolution. Shawnee South, U.S. government's the category. In a bill entitled H.R. 625, what do the initials H.R. stand for? House of Representatives. House of Representatives we're looking for. South, you get the next question. It's famous quotations. What famed anthropologist once noted American women are good mothers, but they make lousy wives. Time on that. Southwest, you have a chance to steal this famous quotations uh, category. What famed anthropologist once noted, American women are good mothers, but they make lousy wives? Ross? Ludwig von Wittgenstein. That is incorrect. It's Margaret Mead. Close. <laughs> Southwest, you get the next category. It's poetry. Which of the following long poems written by Percy Bysshe Shelley? And then you have a multiple choice. Which one of these is written by Percy Bysshe Shelley? Is it Don Juan, The Marriage of Heaven and Hell, Tintern Abbey, The Rime of the Ancient Mariner, or Prometheus Unbound? Raiders, chance to steal this poetry question. Which of the following long poems was written by Percy Bysshe Shelley? Is it Don Juan, The Marriage of Heaven and Hell, Tintern Abbey, The Rime of the Ancient Mariner, or Prometheus Unbound? Nikki? Prometheus Unbound. That is correct. Yeah. U.S. Geography, Raiders. 
Large parts of the American Midwest were covered almost entirely by forest 450 years ago. Today, the forest areas are much smaller. Which of the following is most responsible for this change? Is it decrease in average temperature, an increase in average precipitation, an increase in the number of forest fires, or the growth of farming? Paul? Growth of farming. It is the growth of farming. And with that correct response, you've opened up a 10 to 5 lead. Timberwolves, fine arts terminology is your category. Give me the term beginning with the letter A that refers to the halo or ring of light surrounding a figure in religious paintings. South, chance to steal this fine arts terminology category. Give me the term beginning with the letter A that refers to the halo or ring of light surrounding a figure in religious paintings. Paul? Aura. I cannot accept aura. We're looking for an aureole. Aureole. Raiders. World history is the next category. Transportation, specifically. Covering more than 6,000 miles, this rail line's journey comprises the longest run in the world. Can you name this railroad which took 26 years to construct? Timberwolves, chance to steal this world history transportation question. Covering more than 6,000 miles, this rail, long's, rail line's journey comprises the longest run in the world. Can you name this railroad which took 26 years to construct? Ross. Trans-Siberian. Trans-Siberian is correct. Timberwolves, you get the next category, science, specifically earth science. In 1989, analysis of the Earth's formative years, what did scientists determine to have first appeared 3.8 to 4 billion years ago? Pavan? Life on Earth. Life or the first organisms, very good. Raiders, literature is your category. The Other Side of Midnight is the story reminiscent of Aristotle Onassis and Jackie Kennedy. Who wrote the book? Timberwolves, chance to steal this literature category. The Other Side of Midnight is a story reminiscent of Aristotle Onassis and Jackie Kennedy. Who wrote the book? Sidney Sheldon, Sidney Sheldon. Music terminology for both, uh, excuse me, for you Timberwolves. What is the translation of the abbreviation OP period found in many musical compositions? Raiders, chance to steal this music terminology category. Nikki. Opus. Opus, or work, that is correct. Raiders, current events is your category. The Senate approved a bill which will provide a lot more regulation of which of our nation's systems? Airline safety, education, food safety, or banking? Looks like Josh. Uh, banking. Banking is incorrect. Timberwolves, chance to steal this current events category. Ross. Food safety. It is food safety. Timberwolves, next category for you is military history. It took place on a hill called Senlac. Name this battle in, south, in the I south of... Oh, we will finish this question. Military history is the category in Timberwolves. It took place on the hill called Senlac. Name this battle in the south of England where William of Normandy defeated Harold Goodwinson or Godwinson on October 14th, 1066. Ross. The Battle of Hastings. Battle of Hastings is correct. And we did not have the siren go up, but we are at the end of our first round. In Southwest, you have narrowed the gap a bit, and Charlie Mission South still leads 11 to Blue Valley Southwest 9. At this time in our program, we will go to our campus update in which a member from each team will give us the, the uh, happenings of their high school. And from Sean Emerson South, Nikki, what is happening with the Raiders? Well, let's see here. We just had youth in government recently. Um, we also put on, our theater department put on a production of the Laramie Project, which was fantastic. And quite soon, our orchestra and band will be collaborating for the Pops concert.
Well, fantastic. I heard a lot of you guys got some press on that Laramie project, I believe, yeah. right? Yeah. It's good. Fantastic. And Blue Valley Southwest, Ross, what is happening with the Timberwolves? Well, at uh, Blue Valley Southwest, we are beginning our first ever basketball season, which unfortunately did not start so hot. Our boys and girls both fell to the Topeka Seamen on Friday, or Topeka Seamen, the Vikings, on Friday. And on uh, Saturday, however, our wrestling program got off to a very good start, taking second place at Fort Scott, led by seniors Brandon Poston and Hunter Like, who both went 5-0. and and the Blue Valley Southwest Categories team stands in a decent position here in tonight's competition, which we'll hope this pans out well for us and we can bring home our first win. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Well, once again, it's, it's hard to get off the ground, but it seems like you guys are doing a pretty good job down at uh, Blue Valley Southwest. Here in the second round of categories, the question is placed on the floor for either team to answer. If a team does answer incorrectly, the uh, other team will get a chance to steal that category and earn a point. So both teams, here we go for the second round. The category is literature terminology. In literature, what is the point of highest interest in the story or novel called? Nikki. Ooh, the climax. It is the climax. General knowledge for both teams. The child attendant who carries a pillow in a wedding procession is called what? Ross. The ring bearer. It is the ring bearer. Sports for both teams. What sport did the ancient Greeks believe produced the greatest athletes? Emily. Wrestling. It is not wrestling. South, chance to steal the sports category. What sport did the ancient Greeks believe produced the greatest athletes? Nikki. Discus. It is the discus. Both teams, vocabulary, specifically law, is the category. What specific crime is defined as the unintentional killing of one person by another while in... Nikki. Manslaughter. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Oh, man. Southwest, chance to steal. Vocabulary, law is the category. What specific crime is defined as the unintentional killing of one person by another while engaged in an act that is illegal but which is not a felony? Emily. Involuntary manslaughter. Involuntary manslaughter. You need to be specific. Both teams, science, medicine is the category. What is the common name for pneumoconiosis? Let me try that again. Pneumoconiosis caused by inhalation of coal dust. Nikki. Black lung. Black lung is correct. U.S. government for both teams. Federal legislation is frequently bland and non-controversial. The Bland-Allison Act, however, was quite controversial and had to be passed over President Hayes' veto. What commodity did the Bland-Allison Act require the U.S. to purchase? Silver. Silver is that. U.S. presidents, quotations for both teams. Which United States president said this? Enlighten the people generally, and tyranny and oppression of both the mind and the body will vanish like evil spirits at the dawn of the day. Ross. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson said that. Art, framing is the category for both teams. What name is given to the cutout cardboard border? which is placed around a picture to display it. Nikki. The mat. It is the mat. Math, geometry for both teams. What must be the length of the side of a square in order that its perimeter will have the numerical value twice that of its area? Paul? It must be two units. Two units is correct. Both teams, film is the category. What actress, what iconic actress, played opposite Paul Newman in Cat, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof? James? Uh, Audrey Hepburn. That is incorrect. Timberwolves, chance to steal this film category. What iconic actress played opposite Paul Newman in Cat on a Hot Tin Roof? Time on that. We're looking for Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor. Literature for both teams. Quote the first five words of the famous line by John Donne, which precedes, every man is a piece of the continent. 
a part of the main. Nikki? No man is an island. No man is an island is exactly right. U.S. geography, colleges and universities for both teams. Harvard, Radcliffe, and Massachusetts Institute of Technology are all located in what town? James. Boston, Massachusetts. Cannot accept Boston. Timberwolves, chance to steal this U.S. geography, colleges, and universities category. Harvard, Radcliffe, and Massachusetts Institute of Technology are all located in what town? Cambridge, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Both teams, science, astronomy is the category. Which planet is known for its Earth-sized cyclone called the Great Dark Spot? Ross. Jupiter. Can I accept Jupiter? Paul. Neptune. It is Although Neptune. Although I believe that the Great Dark Spot has actually disappeared from sight. We'll still give you the point though, Paul. <laughs> All right, fantastic. World of geography for both teams. The third largest of the U.S. Virgin Islands and the largest city in New Brunswick share what same name? That would be St. John. St. John. Great name for an island. U.S. government for both teams. What two titles are held by one person in the Senate who may vote only to break a tie? James, you got it in just in time. Oh, would that be the vice president and the speaker of the house? No. Cannot no. accept that. It is vice president, but he also goes by president of the Senate. President of the Senate. Oh, you know what? On that one, I should have given the other team a chance on that one. So we will discard that question completely. Sorry, Timberwolves, I did not give you a chance to respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> Vocabulary for both teams. What is the branch of mathematics dealing with calculus in, higher, in its higher developments? It's also the chemical technique for determining the elements in a substance. What's the word? Paul. Differentiation. Cannot accept differentiation. Timberwolves, this time I will give you a chance to respond. Vocabulary is the category. It's the branch of mathematics dealing with calculus in its higher developments. It's a chemical technique for determining the elements in a substance. What's the word? Time on that, we're looking for analysis, analysis. Spelling for both teams. It was named for the French botanist Pierre Magnol. How do you spell Magnolia? Nikki. M-A-G-N-O-L-I-A. -A. Magnolia is correct. Magnolia. Both teams, music. Opera for both teams. Which group, always the object of suspicion in the, and in the Middle Ages thought to possess the magical powers of witches, is featured in Verdi's opera Il Trovatore? Emily? Gypsies. Gypsies is correct. Economics for both teams. Stocks or commodities bought to be delivered at some time to come are called what? Nikki? Pork bellies. Cannot accept pork bellies. Timberwolves, no. chance to steal this economics category. Stocks or commodities bought to be delivered at some time to come are called what? Pavan? Bonds. Cannot accept bonds. We're looking for futures. Futures. Both teams, finance is the category. I'll name the masterpiece and you name the celebrated painter. The masterpiece is The Gleaners. We're looking for Jean-Francois Millet on that one. U.S. History, First Ladies is the category. Mrs. Rutherford B. Hayes from 1877 to 1881 refused to permit wine or spirits to be served at White House dinners or receptions. What was her nickname? She was known as Lemonade Lucy. Lemonade Lucy. Geography for both teams. Name any line of latitude that passes through the nation of Mexico. Pavan? 20 degrees. 20 degrees. I would have taken anything from 15 to 32. 
literature, terminology for both teams. Turn of the Screw, Death in Venice, and Goodbye Columbus are all examples of what literary form? Emily? An illusion. Cannot accept illusion. Raiders, you have a chance to steal this literature terminology question. Turn of the Screw, Death in Venice, and Goodbye Columbus are all examples of what literary form? Nikki? Tragedy? No, they're not tragedies. They're novellas. Novellas. Oh. General knowledge for both teams. What vehicle crucial to Memphis' economic development in the 19th century is pictured on the city seal? Ross? The steamboat. Steamboat or riverboat. Either one would be acceptable. Science for both teams. Name the three relatively inert metals that are most likely to be found in free form. Copper, gold, and silver. Copper, gold, and silver. U.S. geography for both teams. Name any three of Alaska's four time zones. James. Pacific. Um, uh, Eastern and Mountain. No, cannot accept that. U.S. Geography, Timberwolves, your chance to steal. Name any three of Alaska's four time zones. Ross? Pacific, Western, Eastern. Cannot accept that. They are Pacific. One of them is Alaska, Hawaii. The other one, Yukon. And the other one, Bering would be the four. Science, botany for both teams. It's a fairly long question, so here we go. There is a group of plants all under one name which are among the oldest plants in the world. There are about 8,000 different varieties of them, and they grow wherever the soil is not covered by snow or ice. James. Ferns. Ferns is correct. Literature for both teams. According to the story, the countryman had an animal who laid golden eggs. He grew greedy, killed the animal, but nothing was found inside. What kind of animal laid? Nikki? <laughs> the goose. The goose is correct. <laughs> Both teams, literature is the category. To which capital was Byron referring in Child, Her Child Herald's Pilgrimage when he wrote, My country, city of the soul? <laughs> referring to Rome, referring to Rome. Theater is the next category for both teams. In Thornton Wilder's Our Town, what character directly addresses the audience narrating the action of the play? Looking for the stage manager, the stage manager. Math question for both teams. If a 26 foot ladder is placed against a building 10 feet from its base, how far up the building will the ladder reach? Pavan? 24 feet. 24 feet, and that is correct. With that correct response, you have upped your score to 16, but Shawnee Mission South had a final score of 21. So that is our final day. Shawnee Mission South 21, Blue Valley Southwest 16. Another well-played game here on Categories today. Please join us again right here as we bring you the best and brightest minds of high school students all across this great county of Johnson County.